fine. Well, we're going the wrong way down Main Street this time. We're actually going towards the ocean, so it's a lot of fun. We got to kind of make a stop. Huntington Beach, Surf City, USA. I'm the mayor. I get to welcome you. 44 nations, over 300 and we are almost 350 athletes here. It's amazing. We are we are lucky to have you. We had you last year. We want you back again. This is this is an amazing event for us, and it's an amazing event for the world. You guys are going to be meet people over the your time here that you're going to know the rest of your life. People from all over the world. Fernando didn't say it, he said it the best. You know, you're the UN. You're better than the UN. Because you got this in common out here. You have the ocean. For every one of us who surf, that means something different. But most of us, it's the panacea, it's the cure-all. You got a bad day, you go out there. You got a good day, you go out there. Walking on the sand, just taking it all in makes life better. You get to express that to everyone in your country. Surfing is a wonderful way to do that. So welcome. Um, seems like a very quiet crowd. I don't know what this is, but anyway. One thing I want, so we can uh, put it in our history books in Huntington Beach. I'd like all of you to get up, throw me your best shaka, throw me your flags, so I can get a picture of you. Welcome. Welcome to Huntington Beach. Have fun. 
Now it is my privilege to introduce to you the president of Visla, Mr. Paul Nade. Wow, talk about front row seats there. Amazing. Um, a huge welcome back to all of you. 44 countries here this year. It's a, a record. Um, stoked to see almost the same amount of female competitors as the boys. So, welcome ladies. Um, congratulations on making your teams. And um, to all of you who've traveled long distances to get here, thank you for the participation. I'd also like to thank the mayor and the city of Huntington Beach for once again hosting this amazing event. A huge thanks to Kelly from Visit Huntington Beach as well. And then most importantly, a massive thanks to all you locals for once again welcoming us back here and um, sharing your waves. We'll try not to get in the, way, in, in the way, but I really appreciate it. I know there's nothing like a crowd of 350 people descending on your local break. So thanks, local. Thank you. Since contest surfing began, which is um, over 60 years ago, virtually every great competitor has competed straight out front here. You now have the opportunity to go out and make your mark. I see some returning champions this year, and um, for those of you who are out there to compete, do your best, and um, let's see you on the podium at the end of the day. Make the most of these uh, next 10 days here. You um, represent your families well, represent your countries well, but most importantly, forge great friendships. As the mayor said, they'll be with you for a lifetime. You may not realize that now at your young age, but I'm uh, standing here and looking at my good friend Peter Townend, who I met over almost 50 years ago, and we're still mates. So you're gonna make some great friends. And um, thanks again for for making the trek and um, I think we're going to see a little turnaround in the swell tomorrow and I'm sure you're going to have an amazing week. And last but not least, I'd like the South Africans to join me in wishing a great South African coach, Graham Hines, his happy 90th, 90th birthday today. We, sh we should all be down there. There's a big jewel in Cape St. Francis tonight, but we're going to have a good time here. So once again, thanks very much. Huge, huge thanks to the city of Huntington all you locals, all you competitors, have a great time, enjoy, and um, go out there and win. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nade. Now it is my privilege to introduce the CEO of Visit Huntington Beach, Mr. Kelly Miller. Thank you, everybody. Are you stoked to be here? I didn't hear you. Are you stoked to be here? That's better. Hey, welcome to the surfing capital of the world, Huntington Beach Surf City, USA, right? Hey, how many of you were here last year? Show of hands, right? Was that a great swell last year? Well, we, we, we've given it up to the people upstairs, and we've given it up to all the surfing gods and say, bring us a swell, and I think it's coming, right? So why is this important? Let me tell you, 104 years ago, 105, a guy went out here from Hawaii. I talked about this last year, but this is important. George Freeth, Henry Huntington brought him down. And George Freeth, an older man, older a little bit than Duke Kanamoko, and he came and for the first time, people in Huntington Beach saw, and this was advertised, as a man who can walk on water. 5,000 people showed up on a Friday. The next day, 10,000 people. And since then, Duke Kanamoko came here and his statue's right over there. Many world champions, you heard earlier, heard Fernando, surfed right here as young people like you. And last Saturday I met, again, a woman, Linda Benson. Linda Benson, 60 years ago this year, the first woman to ever surf the North Shore in Hawaii as a young teenager. And right out here, the, the first professional surfing championship in North America, right there. And she said to me, I said, hey, I said, thank you, Linda, for paving the way for many women. You know, real quick, Linda turned to me and said, you know, thank you for remembering what we did 60 years ago, and thank you for remembering what I did in Huntington Beach. Now, that's pretty powerful. So from Brett Simpson to Courtney Colling to Kanoa, who's unfortunately serving for Japan in the Olympics, but we wish he was serving for us, to a variety of other people, this is going to be so special for you. 
these next eight or nine days. And you know, here's the deal. You're surfing in what people call the center of the universe for surfing. From the pier, the International Walk of Fame surfing, to the Hall of Fame, to the statues, to the surf museum, to the world's largest surfboard right up here that we're taking off the wall in another year to set another world record to some of the best surf shops in the world right here, including a Vistla shop right over there in Pacific City. So go take your wallets and spend some money. And the thing is, you're gonna be, as what was said, as Paul said, you're gonna be putting in your hearts and minds some memories that will never be erased. Whether you come up here as a gold medal, silver, bronze, or you're just here competing, that's gonna be very, very special. And what was also been talked about, we want to make sure that the world knows that when they come in 2028, we want to be the place that hosts the surfing for 2028, if in fact that happens. And we need you to tell people about your experience here. So I'm going to ask everybody that's surfing out there, we want you to hashtag us. We want you to say Surf City USA. We want you to listen to your coaches, right? And we want you to talk about what a great place is for surfing around the world. And last of all, I wouldn't, do, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't say this. USA! 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 Thank you very much. What a great event for Huntington Beach. I mean, it just shows how much our local surf community expands into a world community of surfing. And what a better place than to exhibit that than Surf City USA and uh, Pier Plaza right here. I declare that the Vistla ISSA World Junior Surfing Championship is now open. Woo!